Hi there, my name's Steve. I'm looking after a busy little website called Doc Download, and recently I've had a lot of interest from tech writers around the world regarding code of ethics. So I thought I'd make a few comments and see if there's a couple of tech writers out there that might want to get in touch with me and have a little chat about these matters. Uh, so I'll make a few comments and uh, see where it gets me. Okay. What is a code of ethics? Code of ethics is a set of principles adopted by the company governing what it considers to be right and wrong conduct. It could be conduct by the company, its directors, shareholders, management, staff. It could be extended to include um, the expectations of the company regarding what they consider to be right and wrong conduct by, say, a joint venture partner or a contractor or a supplier and the company may want to enter into a restraint of trade based on moral principles and it could be included uh, it could include um, expectation of right conduct by customers even and we might even have a restraint of trade based on moral principles to say that we will not deal with particular customers. Okay, so what is this code of ethics? Uh, a code of ethics is backed by morals and moral philosophy. You can't just sit down and write down what you consider to be right and wrong. Um, you have to have a way of viewing the world that allows you to generate a system of moral values um, and you need to agree on this before you go about generating your code of ethics because otherwise if you don't do that um, the choices that you dictate tend to be arbitrary, moralising, condescending, platitudinous, platitudinous <laughs> and meaningless in, in their impact to the people that they are trying to communicate with. Okay, what ideas did we adopt in Doc Download um, regarding the philosophy of ethics? Um, well, at Doc Download we made a practical compromise between two basic isms. The first one was a form of existentialism. Existentialism views the world as absurd, it holds that human beings have no essential purpose or nature and that humans have a complete freedom to define humanity and a painful ethical responsibility to do so. And the other idea that we um, adopted was a form of secular humanism that said that without supernaturalism we have an ability and a responsibility to lead ethical lives of personal fulfillment that aspire to the greater good of humanity. But we didn't, we couldn't just adopt those two isms because there's a general dissonance between them. So we had to make a compromise between them in order to adopt these two different ideas. Often in philosophy if you want to adopt two positions you have to compromise between them because part of one stance is diametrically opposed to or not compatible with the other. This might require you to reject parts of each stance so that they can fit together without argument between them. And by doing this you sort of generate a new stance yourself. So we've got a new stance, we don't know what we call it, um, but it's, it's sort of a, a bit of existentialism and a bit of secular humanism and we've chucked out parts of both of those things. So the doc download position sees ethics as basically human and therefore uh, uh, it has a particular character because ethics is basically human. Moral structures and choices 
as the humanists tell us, is fundamental to what it means to be a human. It accepts, as proposed by the existentialists, that humans can change all aspects of their lives, but we propose that because a person can only ever be a social being, this complete freedom that they're talking about can only ever be defined in the context of the moral choices that humans are continuously being called upon to make. Um, and uh, w which the humanists always uh, remind us of um, both at the individual and at the social level and that since the concepts of what is right and what is wrong have developed in the full history of the development of humanity um, we don't propose that mankind can simply d declare or plan for what is right and what is wrong as proposed by the humanists but that it is, it is possible to know what is right and what is wrong in the context of the history of humanity. So if you want to know what is right and what is wrong, you have to be a bit of a historian. Um, uh, and if you are an historian, you can know what is right and what is wrong without the need for any form of spiritualism or supernaturalism. This compromise, a reject rejection of the moralism often implied by many forms of humanism, while at the same time imposing some natural limits to the freedoms imposed by, um, implied by the existentialists, has been adopted by Doc Download for the purpose of generating ethical statements. Of course, the, the position we've adopted uh, has its problems and its critics, as all moral positions do, and writers of code, codes of ethics would be well advised to consider various philosophical t alternatives. And after revising their moral position, uh, to consider rewriting the Doc Download Code of Ethics according to the philosophical impact of the new moral position that they've adopted. Anyway, there's a few ideas to get started, see if it uh, generates any interest from people. Uh, get back to me if you want to talk about these things in, in more detail. Uh, if you want any more detail on our position, just go to Doc Download and write Code of Ethics in the search engine. Thanks. See ya. Bye.